Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here. And today we're going to actually talk about Alita Battle Angel a little bit in anticipation for the movie coming out in about two weeks as of recording. Now, in Alita Battle Angel, Alita has a cyborg body that has various abilities and characteristics. And in the source material, she actually has a few bodies that she wears over different storylines depending on what she's doing. And one of the first bodies she really gets after her initial body is damaged, not biological one, but initial cybernetic body is damaged, is called the Berserker body. And this is a new body that is definitely a lot more suited for combat, which is actually the whole purpose of her getting it in the first place because she was in a fight and her initial body it wasn't really measuring up to the challenge that she was fighting, so that's why she decided to upgrade. Now, the body was intended to make a person basically into a weapon, and it's made out of nanotech called Berserker Cells. This tech was created by Venusians from Venus during the terraforming wars as a weapon to basically destroy and assimilate anything it came into contact to, whether it was organic or inorganic. Now, when interacting with a sentient object or like a brain, the Berserker tech or Berserker cells can learn from that sentient object, either like a fighting move or just in general what it knows, while also being manipulated by its appearance to what the sentient object wants. So let's say it connects with you, you can make it have a body, like a female body, a male body, you can have it have a certain attire, a certain look to it, you can control it and manipulate it in that way. However, it can also absorb people, going into the fact that it can assimilate both organic or inorganic objects, and through absorbing people, by proxy if that person is you know, not brain dead, you can potentially gain some valuable abilities. Now this is actually very similar to the Venom symbiote from Marvel Comics, a lot similar actually to the ultimate version of Venom in the Marvel Comics, at least the original one for Ultimate Eddie Brock, not the secondary Ultimate Venom we saw during the Miles Morales storylines. Now, because of its destructive purpose, the body actually has certain safeguards or locks on it to keep it from overwhelming the user. And the body itself actually, besides it being used by the user, is practically invincible, not just because it's very durable, but because it has vast regenerative abilities. It also has the ability to absorb all forms of matter, transform its appearance, and generate or manipulate energy fields such as electromagnetic fields or plasma. So the weakness actually of the Berserker tech or Berserker cells or Berserker body as a whole is the fact that the nanotech has limits in the form of something called collapsers. Now basically all collapsers are are pieces of tech that are made to combat Berserker cells because obviously when this was being used during the terraforming wars other civilizations, the other planets that were a part of it which we'll talk about in a later video they weren't really excited about the destructive capabilities of Berserker cells. So they made a combating nanotech, which when it actually comes into interacting with the Berserker cells, breaks the Berserker cells down on a cellular level, which visually to the common person, kind of basically takes on the form of dissolving it. And in the source material for Alita during the storylines, it's actually really interesting because like common weaponry starts getting tipped off, kind of like how you have tipped bullets and stuff like that they start tipping them with collapsers. So it would be extremely effective against the Berserker cells and Berserker body, considering how destructive it is. But comment below your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Do you think the Berserker body is cool? We'll do a few other bodies Alita has over the next few, I guess, days and weeks as we get closer to the movie's public release. And yeah, comment below your guys' thoughts, and we'll see you guys later.